Hi there, this is Isaac Smith, and this video will be on dry fire basics, nickels, batteries, and shell casings. What we're going to go through here is basically how to use a dry or unloaded firearm and using nickels, a battery, or a shell casing be able to help stabilize your trigger control. So at the point where you're actually ready to fire the firearm, as you're pulling the trigger with your finger, you don't create any kind of a destabilization or any kind of movement that's going to throw your fire or your bullet trajectory off of its aim at bullet point. So before we get started, let's first do a weapon safety check, making sure that the firearm is unloaded, there's nothing in the chamber, and that we are clear. That is the case. I'm going to go ahead and dry fire the weapon, make sure it's clear there. So what we're going to be using is a Glock 22. And starting at the beginner level, I would either recommend the nickel or the battery. What I'm going to be going through here one step at a time is the procedural just to basically balance the nickel up on top of the front sight, like so. And then while you have it racked, the point will be to actually go ahead and stabilize the firearm the trigger without nickel letting it fall off the, the front sight. And what you're going to first try to do is actually attempt that to do that three times consecutively. You'll have to take the nickel off in order to re rack. And then, again, the battery. Once you've got that under control, we're going to be working with the shell casing. And again, 223 upside down is a lot more difficult to actually keep stabilized as when standing. And then again, pulling the trigger. I'm going to consecutively do that three times. <laughs> 